something major going on. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. We gotta do a video because I gotta show somebody that it is really possible to restore an old wig that has been matted up, that has been tangled up. It is a lifesaver and you absolutely wanna get it. If you wanna get your hands on this hot commodity, it is the world's greatest. moisture it protects the cuticle it, it helps the hair to uh, be at a healthy pH balance so that when you're combing through it gives it elasticity and elasticity know you know that elasticity allows the hair to stretch out versus you comb it and it just snaps you want your hair to stretch and not snap so all of that is provided to you by this wonderful product called unlock okay y'all not gonna believe this I'm gonna show you because seeing is believing we had a customer come in and this is what she brought in. Y'all, this is my day. This is what I do. <laughs> so this is my world. Welcome to the wonderful wig world of Hate Johnson of La Host Hair and Wigs. Yeah, somebody actually brought this in and they was like, can you help me? And I'm like, am I being punk right now? <laughs> but no, I wasn't. She was serious. She had this wig, it's her favorite wig. And then when I turned the wig inside out, I've seen that it had the silicone lining and it had a mono, mono uh, cap. I'm like, wait a minute, that's like a good wig. I'm like, what happened? Well, anyway, long story short, sometimes wigs end up in the hands of people who really don't know how to maintain them. It's okay, that's what we're here for. I don't do my taxes, I take my taxes to an accountant. You know why? Because I don't do taxes. If you don't do hair, go see a professional. It is so okay. Humble yourself and go see somebody who can really help you, like she did, okay? So let's get started. Here's the wig, and I mean, this is like, yeah. Okay, so let me just keep going, because I know this is unbelievable, but I'm gonna show you. You're gonna need a spray bottle. You're gonna need this wonder, world's best, world's greatest hair detangler, unlock, and the shine laminate spray this one is water but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some of the um unlock and i'm going to show you i'm going to dilute some of the unlock just by pouring maybe about a tablespoon i pour about a tablespoon in this other water bottle so now this is pure water and this one has um water down unlock in this spray bottle just gonna shake it, uh, maybe about five or 10 seconds. And also you wanna keep some needle nose scissors like this near you. What the needle nose scissors do is they help you to be able to, like all of this hair, I'm gonna show you all the hair. See all the hair that came in on the other side of the wig? We're actually gonna cut that to eliminate all the hair that's really, is gonna cause more tangling. So I'm gonna tell you another secret. Half of the reason why this wig tangled like this is because of this hair on this side. Okay, so let's get started on detangling this wig. Okay, so I'm gonna use first our water down unlock that's in this bottle, okay? And I'm gonna go to where most of the tangle is, which is in the center, about right here. So I'm just gonna mist it just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna start kinda combing through. You need a vent brush. You're gonna kinda comb through just like this. And you're gonna take your time. The secret of untangling hair is trying, the goal is to always try to get down to the root. And you gotta just take your time because you don't want to rip a lot of the hair. Now listen, when hair is um, when tangled this bad, it is impossible not to get a lot of you know hair that's gonna come out. Because that's partly why some of this hair is tangled like this is because the brushing was not done. 
correct because it's a lot of hair that's just in here to calm down. Okay, so now it's time for the needle nose. Remember I showed you the real scissors? That's when you're gonna use those. You see this little tangle here? What you do is, you take the needle nose scissors. You don't cut, you just kinda pull the hair apart with the end of the scissors. You put a little unlock there, go back with the scissors, and you just pull out. Because the only way you really can't, because it's actually not even a tangle, it's a dread. And as you see, I got it. I, and sorry, but you're gonna have some shedding, you're gonna have some breaking because the hair is so one. And then number two, the wig is so tangled. Now I'm gonna use the concentrated. Now that I got some of the smaller tangles out, now I'm going for the bigger tangles like this. And you just spray right in the room. See how more concentrated that is? It comes out really white. That's because it's really, really thick. Always make sure that when you're combing out tangles, you use wide tooth comb and your vent brush. And it's important to do this on a table versus a mannequin head so that you can keep control over the wig. pH balance. and just kind of spin it around slowly. You're slowly getting all of those tangles out and you're removing. I'm also gonna spray inside of the wig because I wanna make sure that these wefts are able to release some of this hair that is tangled. And I'm gonna turn it this way. It looks like it's still tangled, but actually that's just how it looks. But as I'm looking at it and combing through it, a lot of the tangles are gone. do in this mono because this is really a good piece right here that mono that is an amazing piece of material to making wigs because when you part it you know that's what makes it look more natural because it looks more like a natural scalp okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna my hands here and just kind of comb it in my palm now I'm gonna take a comb okay because I really want to make sure I get down to the scalp of this wig This. And I'm gonna grab it with my thumb. And now, okay, so now I'm gonna start parting. So you can see that I'm all the way down to the scalp, that all those tangles are gone. See? That's amazing. All those tangles are gone completely. Now, this is the test. But you don't use the wide tooth, you use the small tooth side. I'm at the mono side and I'm just gonna go through this wig. Hold it with my thumb and just go through the complete wig from top to bottom. <laughs> just like this. And you see that? I'm able to go through this wig with no problem at all. Voila. All done. So now I'm gonna wash. Those curls actually are coming back really pretty. Cause like I told you, when I seen this part of the wig, I knew this was really a good wig. And that's why it was important that we, when, before we started, we cut all that hair that had fed through these tracks. It was important to remove those because if you don't remove that, the wig is gonna basically tangle up all over again. So I'm gonna give it one more good comb through before I put water on it because I want you to never forget when you put water on hair, 
however it is, is how it's going to stay. So if it's tangled or if it's matted up already, it's going to mat up more when you put water on it. Okay, so now I'm finished. I got my mannequin head. And I'm just going to do a little bit of combing. Not that much, because I don't want to disturb that curl. And as you see, just kind of keep combing through. Put the, mat, put the wig on the mannequin head. See the ear tabs, make sure it's lined up to the eyes. Comb it to the root or the weft of this wig. And I'm just gonna comb through. I'm also gonna spray a little, remember it's unlocking here, it's diluted unlock. So I'm just gonna spray all the way around, just like this. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this unlock to style the wig from the elements. So everything good, this is a, especially a laminate. The crystal laminate is really a great spray. And I'm gonna let you see, you can see that scalp. See that mono cap? And I'm just gonna comb some of this back. And then I'm just gonna start forming it with my fingers into a style, like this, okay? See, and I'm just gonna kinda shake the bangs so it kinda has a little wisp to it. Pull it back just a little bit. How it's gonna fall naturally on that customer. I'm gonna spray a lot more laminate on it now because I'm in my final stage of styling this wig. And I really want it to shine and I want it to have a little bit of body. And okay, you're gonna retangle here. And to me, because the wig is wet and because it's curly, you want to really make sure you put that lamp, that um, shine on the hair. Okay, I'm all done.